for Arthur is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Hi guys, welcome back to Yasmin Collects and welcome if you are new. I hope you're having an amazing day whenever you are watching this video. So, I wanted to just make a very, very quick video slash announcement to let you guys know that I am starting the process of digitally archiving my VHS collection. I receive questions a lot about some of the tapes that I find or have in my collection if there's a digital rip somewhere or if I have digitally archived content somewhere and for the longest time I said no but I'm working on it. I actually received my first YouTube AdSense payout recently. Oh, My first $100 earned from the ads that I have running on this YouTube channel since I am monetized so I first of all wanted to thank you guys so so much because if I didn't get that I probably wouldn't really have the budget to um, start out with something so I was able to use that $100 to purchase a pretty basic um, video capture card this is like the most popular one on Amazon the Elgato I'm not recommending it or saying that it's the best because I know there's a lot of different ways to digitally archive things and this is kind of like the quick and dirty I admittedly do not know a ton about digital archiving, analog to digital preservation. I am much more interested in actually interacting with a tape and watching a tape on a VCR. Like this, this right here is what I'm about, but you know, it's important to face reality and remember that a lot of these tapes and a lot of the tapes in my collection are like 30, maybe even almost 40 years old. And as careful as I am with maintaining a good temperature, air purifiers, cleanliness, you know, maintaining my VCRs and all that stuff, it's still analog at the end of the day and there's only so much that you can do. And you know, I do have this fear that one day I'm just gonna wake up and pop in a tape and it's not gonna be a thing anymore. And that would be so sad. It's also really important to preserve lost media. It's something that I have been getting more and more interested in as time goes on. However, like I said earlier, I do not really know too, too much about the ins and outs of digital preservation. So don't expect anything amazing or fancy. I'm literally ripping it from a capture card and popping it on um, a YouTube channel that I made. So that's the other part. I created a whole new YouTube channel for these digitally archived videos. I did that mostly uh, to avoid any copyright issues that could arise on a channel. The more copyright claims you get on YouTube and there's different tiers and levels of copyright, you have like DMCA takedowns where you get a strike against your channel, but then there's also just general copyright where you don't have like anything going against your channel, but you just can't monetize. And even though YouTube claims it doesn't impact your channel, over time it does. And so the more copyrighted material you put on a YouTube channel, the less people are going to see your YouTube channel. You get what I'm saying. So I created an entirely separate one. It's called Yasmin's Archives. I will leave the handle on the screen right here for you guys to look at. I also am going to have it linked in my description box and in my YouTube channel about section. So if you click on my channel, go to about, and there's like a description of what I do. There will also be a link to that media preservation channel. Like I said, I'm just gonna upload tapes, rip them, and uh, pop them on the channel. So in case you wanna watch them, you can. I have two going on the channel right now. I have this one here. This was um, created by the Alaska Zoo, uh, Alaska on Video, and it is called Animals of the Alaska Zoo. This was filmed in 1998, and it is like a fun tour documentary of this zoo in Alaska that I now really want to visit so I can be like, oh my god, I saw this on a VHS tape. Marketing's still going, even all these years later. And it's just a really cute video. It's also pretty high quality for what I was expecting. These kind of home video, uh, smaller dis distributed tapes tend to not have the best quality, but this one, really, really good. I also have a Pittsburgh WQED documentary tape, Stuff That's Gone, more of the things that aren't there anymore. Um, this has Rick Seaback in it, which is a national treasure for people who are from Pennsylvania or from Pittsburgh like me. You know Rick Seaback, you know him, you love him, and this is a great tape, so I wanted to have that up there as well. As you can see behind me, I have quite 
a lot of tapes <laughs> a lot of tapes and a lot of uh content to go through so in my mind i'm thinking it's better for me to get some sort of digital copy now get it going instead of waiting and maybe trying to have a more expensive setup because digitizing things is like freaking expensive <laughs> i also work a nine to five and i have a lot of extracurriculars going right now so I just don't have time to put in the effort. I also have to borrow my partner's old MacBook. This is a 2015 MacBook Air because this one actually has USB ports on it. Can you imagine a MacBook actually having ports on it instead of needing 500 adapters like I do with my MacBook Air? I literally have two adapters on this thing and they're both USB-C and I was trying to do it with um, the capture card and then a USB um, converter thing, but the the tape recording was so wobbly, it was literally unwatchable. So I'm also borrowing some equipment to get this digitization process underway, but it's freaking important to make sure that we preserve lost media. I love some of these cool things that I find on tapes, and one other big thing is that um, childhood memories are really fun to discover. I have remembered and discovered so many childhood memories just from looking up like clips on YouTube, so I hope that I can bring some joy to you guys in that same way or new people that find the channel so yeah if you want to uh, watch through some old tapes you can go to Yasmin's archives it is my new YouTube channel I'm also going to be uploading content to internet archive I don't really know like how that works if I make an account or if you can like follow me on there I don't think so but just as an FYI um, I'm gonna be doing that as well if you guys also want to share your thoughts comments questions and opinions um, in terms of like if you preserve things digitally and you have suggestions, please let me know um, Understand though. I know that we're held to a higher standard in the tech world But understand that I really have a very high level understanding of this like I don't really understand this topic at all So you'll have to kind of explain it to me like I'm five <laughs> but I do appreciate uh, the time and the effort and the energy and All of the support that I've gotten on this channel. This is such a fun thing for me I love doing it and thank you guys so much for watching my videos because without you I wouldn't have had that budget to purchase the converter so yeah I have some other tapes that'll probably be going up soon but I just wanted to make sure I made an announcement video so you guys saw this just in case um, I did also post it on my community tab but sometimes you know community tabs are not viewed <laughs> or they get lost in the shuffle. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting Yasmin Collects. I hope you guys have a wonderful, amazing rest of your day. This is a short little video, but I will be back next week for a longer video. And yeah, Mwah. bye. <laughs>